Hi, this is Bipolar Scrapbooking, and I wanted to show you something because I remember seeing something very similar to Brusho Crystal Colors water-based paint and also Starburst concentrated powder, okay? Which I'm going to demonstrate something with you which is a really good alternative and it's extremely cheap. These are expensive actually. And you won't believe what's almost identical to it. Da 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 da. Kool-Aid. It's not a joke. I'm telling you. Here's the difference, okay? I, I'm going to show you, actually not the difference, how much they look alike. Now, this was done with Kool-Aid. This was done with the color burst. All right, now I'm going to show you on a different sheet of paper. I'm going to use a nice, pretty paper here, okay? All I'm using is a nice little cheapo thing, you know, watercolor, okay, guys? It's watercolor, it's 90 pounds, and it's watercolor paper. No magic to it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray, once I put the powder on here, actually, I'm going to spray first, five times each side, so you could see. I'll tell you which side is which. Here we go. One, two three four five one two three four five okay I'm going to do this side kool-aid this side is going to be color burst I'm gonna do this I'm gonna drop some on here right ooh shih tzus. it got on here all right that's okay. We can go on to the other side. All right, so here's color burst. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of the Kool-Aid. I'm opening it up here so you guys can see this. I'm gonna let some of it fall. Okay, yes, it's got a little bit of grittiness, but it does disintegrate. So it's like having rocks in here, but then um, as time goes by, it actually just melts away in there. Okay, now I'm going to use my finger to spread this. Here we go. This one is the, the color burst. All right, this is the color burst. And I am using ultra marine blue. Now, this is what it does to my finger, right? Now I'm going to use this one. You can hear a little bit of the grittiness. And I didn't put... Um, that much of the powder as I did with this one. That one I actually added too much. Oh, Shih Tzu's. Oh, well, this should be darker. And it is. It's just darker. So, right here is darker. This is a Kool Aid. And you can see this is Kool Aid. This is the color burst. And because I added too much of the Kool Aid, I'm gonna add a little bit, because you remember they said, just add a little bit, then it should get darker. So this one's Kool-Aid, this is Color Burst, okay? And the reason this is darker is because a lot of the powder fell out. So now I'm gonna mix it up with this one. All right, which is this one. Do you see the difference? Because I don't. All right, Bristol, jeez, oh, what the hell. Color Burst Kool-Aid. Using the Kool-Aid, those little sand things are actually going away. Okay? All right, so obviously this color of Kool-Aid is the pigment is not as dark because this one has a name ultra ultra marine blue but this one is just simple blueberry so of course it's going to be a little lighter okay I don't have exact names but you can just look at the dye the same I'm going to use a paper towel all right I'm going to do this 
exactly the same. Um, okay, guys, I've looked. Okay, remember this one is color burst. This one is Kool Aid. All right, this it's it it's already nice. All right, you can use a brush. Here's a brush. Here's another brush. Okay, goes down. This is light because I don't know the real color. It's just blueberry. Okay. Yeah, it has more pigment on this one because the color says ultramarine. I'm sure you can probably match it some way. But anyhow, it's a good alternative to all these new powdered um, watercolor pigments that they're having now. And again, I gotta tell you, Kool-Aid versus like, uh, what is this, like $4, 4 or $5 for one of this? Um, this is like about $25, 25 cents for one of these? You, you do the math. I didn't see too much of a difference. I'm gonna do one more little test. And remember, Kool-Aid, color burst. Turning the page. This time, I am going to put, I'm going to put that much, all right, of the Kool-Aid. And I'm going to put, yeah, this is definitely darker, okay? Um, I, I don't question that. It's definitely darker. And I've got blueberry and an aquamarine blue, okay? And I'm going to, I actually just want to drop a few drops of it, of the water. Here it is. Okay. I just want to drop a few drops. Okay. So simple. One, two. One, two. Whoop, that must have been three. The colors are a little different. Okay, this one's a different color, and this one's a blueberry, so it's probably the light color of the other one. You know what? No, I don't have the lighter color of blue. But here's another one, another drop. One, two, three. Oops, gosh. This brush was used for this one, and this one is is has been used with the color aid, um, Kool Aid. So here we go. I'm just painting with it. Those little see, those little crystals will go away if you just let it dry and you blow it away. It'll be fine. Here we go. Yes, it's much more intense. Again. I guess if you actually added some of this since it's expensive to the Kool-Aid. Let's see. Ooh, this is fun. It pretty much blends right into that Kool-Aid. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. Now I'm going to blow dry it. Blow dry it. I'm going to heat gun it. See what we get here if I heat gun. All right. Dries pretty quick. Let's see here. I can tell you this one smells much nicer. I may have added a little too much water on this one because it's taking a long time to dry. But there we go. There you have again. If you're just looking for something cheap and watercolor, pretty much that's a powder. I kind of like this one. This is the Kool-Aid Finger. I kind of like it. And you can mix this one to stretch it out. I kind of like it. And honestly, I, I did this only because I really have been looking for the ingredients of uh, the... Color burst and brush show 
I've been looking for the ingredients and I can't find it anywhere. So can someone let me know? Um, all right, guys, I'm really sorry, but it said non-toxic, so I did taste it. It tastes like nothing. The Kool-Aid has a little salty taste. But all in all, look how it's changing colors. It's like a mood changer. <laughs> all right. So I kind of like how this one feels. And this one's completely dry. This one's almost dry. I may have added too much water. I have no idea how many drops I did, actually. But yeah, it's changing the color. You know what? Let's just try this a little, uh, a bit more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. Okay. New finger. And now, all I'm doing is rubbing in the middle. And I don't know about you, but it's starting to look just like, it's all depending on how much you put of this, right? So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can get it into that color also. No, because this is more intense. But the finger, it's pretty much dying the same. This one was Kool-Aid. This one I'm gonna put it in the Starburst. Color Burst, why do I say Starburst? This is color burst. And this is Kool-Aid. Can someone tell me? Really? All my fingers are dyed pretty much the same color. This one's Kool-Aid. This one was color burst. Color burst, Kool-Aid all my fingers and yeah it's gonna dye my finger but I don't go out who cares call me Smurfette so guys just to let you know if you're on a budget go for the Kool-Aid it's fun and you can really play around with the colors they've got lots of colors this is nice and expensive you play with this with the Kool-Aid I hope this was informative it's I honestly I'm really enjoying this <laughs> Some of this, play around with that. Woo! You can watch me play. Woo, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, well, bye, Polish scrapbooking. Bye-bye. Love, love.